Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Sports Now with Viren Farao. Today we're going to talk about VB Chandrasekhar, the man who passed away at the age of 57. The former India cricketer may not have had the greatest stats in his seven games that he played for the country, but boy was he a towering figure. We'll tell you why. The news late last night and early this morning completely left the world of cricket absolutely shattered. Gone at 57 was VB Chandrasekhar committing suicide in his own home for so many reasons. But prime among those and what we're learning is the fact that he was suffering financial losses because of his Tamil Nadu Premier League team. That tells you how passionate the man was because VB Chandrasekhar doesn't necessarily come from a background of a lot of money. Yet it was his passion for the game of cricket that actually took him to investing in a franchise in the Tamil Nadu Premier League, a very competitive league at that. But unfortunately, things were not going well for him financially. And that led him to take this extreme step. A man who played for two Ranji Trophy teams, Tamil Nadu and Goa. A man who then went on to captain Tamil Nadu, who went on to play for the Indian team. He was former selector. He was a coach of Tamil Nadu. He was manager of the Chennai Super Kings and so much more. Vibhi Chandrasekhar is a man who ha he wore many hats and that was his legacy. The man was able to do so much. But towards the end of his career, of course, he spent a lot of time in the commentary box. That's where his booming voice was uh, remembered by fans across the board. Whether it was commenting in Tamil during the World Cup or for that matter in English during the domestic season. Vibhi Chandrasekhar was virtually a permanent fixture in the commentary box in the last few years. Well, the loss of VB Chandrasekhar is a personal one for most cricketers in Tamil Nadu because at some stage or the other, they've spent time with him, whether it is as a coach and player, or for that matter, as a teammate, or for even those who have not been playing in Tamil Nadu, for those who've been rivals of VB Chandrasekhar, there's a bit of grudging respect. From Anil Kumble to Krishnamachari Srikanth, They've all paid tribute. Now, Chika had a ringside view of the brilliance of this man because a few years ago, when he catapulted to fame in 1988, he scored a hundred, which was the fastest hundred in domestic history until Rishabh Pant came a few years ago and broke it. That record stood for nearly 20 years. It tells you how talented this man was, but it also tells you how respected he was among his own peers and even players more recently. Because Suresh Raina, Harbhajan Singh, they've all tweeted out their tributes to him. They had a personal relationship with Vibhi Chandrasekhar when he was the manager of the Chennai Super Kings in the first three seasons. So he's been an important part of the history of Indian cricket. Well, one thing you may not know, of course, is uh, Vivi Chandrasekhar played a pivotal role in the Chennai Super Kings, not just as their manager, as he was for the first three seasons, but also important. He was the driving force behind bringing MS Dhoni to the Chennai Super Kings. And look what that did to the franchise. It changed the face of the franchise and it brought glory unlike anyone else. That is the legacy, perhaps, for most Chennai Super Kings fans who remember fondly what Vivi Chandrasekhar did for them may not be as coach, but his contribution as manager was invaluable. A man respected by all, both by his teammates and by his rivals. With that, we come to an end of this edition of Sports Now with Viren Farao. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share this video and so much more. And make sure you follow the Mirror Now page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. Thanks for joining us.